Yo, 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 what is up? How's it going? All good? I hope you're doing well, everyone. Today, I'm gone beyond on my grind, trying to improve my driver rating, which is up the top of the, can I point in the right direction that way? You can see it up there, 61,007, 99 SR. Um, so really, the whole point of this is really just to get that rating up. And we're gonna step into race B, which I feel quite comfortable with. We'll grind it out a couple of times, couple of hours, hopefully get a couple of wins, who knows. Maybe the big boys will come out and I'll finish eighth or sixth or something. And there might not be any wins at all. Um, but yeah, the FIA race has started again. You might have seen yesterday's video. Um, so in order to get more points, you want to have a higher driver rating. Um, and my driver rating, I think at one point I had it 66,000, funnily enough. Um, at the moment I'm only on 60, or 61. So I can get up a little bit more. Uh, so that is the idea. But yeah, we got the, the legendary Wi-Fi password t-shirt on, which will hopefully spur us on to victory many times. And yeah, this is the best Wi-Fi password to have. It makes your what it makes your Wi-Fi signal about ten times stronger, and ten times harder to hack. Righty then. 
Oh, what I wanted to say first, because loads of people are asking about um, uh, which wheel to buy. So, of course, I'm going to recommend Fanatec. Obviously, because I've got an affiliate link, but they've got Black Friday sale on today, so you can get some of their stuff cheaper. And I think they have only got a couple of items remaining on their sale. Let's have a look. Uh, where is it? So at the moment they've only got the CSL racing wheel, the Club Sport Porsche and the CSL base, which all work on PlayStation. Well, if you buy an Xbox rim with it, it will work on Xbox as well. And they all work on PC, so 100 euro off each one. If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it today. But there you go. Um, right, let's jump in, shall we? Now for this race, um, I'm going to stick probably between two cars, mostly the FT1 or the Supra, the two Toyotas, tend to be the quickest two cars. So I'll take the FT1 for now, I feel most comfortable in that car. So we'll go with that. I bought the CSL Elite today after finding out about its Black Friday sale in your Insta story. Yeah, man, I mean, Fanatec don't really do many sales, to be to be honest. Max Turbo. Thank you very much, mate. Hoping for good results for you. And glad to see you uh, see another stream. Get in there today. Thank you very much, mate. That's very generous of you. The $20. Thank you very much, Max Turbo. Glad to have you again for the show. What's the difference between the Supra and the FT1? Um... FT1 handles a bit better, a bit more grip in the corners. Um, I'd say better traction. The Supra, better in a straight line. It's, it's really good on the back straight, which is just around that corner there. But yeah, it's a good time to get a Fanatec if, if that's what you want to get. But to be honest, you don't have to, you know, Logitech, Frostmaster, they all do a fine job. They all do good jobs, you know? Right, let's get this music off. Shush. Right, um, right, let's jump into some practice. Okay, my target here, right? I, my best up is a 54.9. I'm gonna try and do a 55.4 first lap. First lap, that's 55.4, half a second away from my PB. Let, let's see if I can do it. Thank you, Rolling Burrito. Hello. Hello, viewer. second off already. It's going to have to be a heroic final sector. Five eight at best. 
Ah, uh, 56 here, half a second. Lost half a second in the last. All right. Yeah, this is a quick car, this. The problem with it is that if you come up against a Supra, let's say someone is in a Supra and they're just as good as you, it's hard, if they're in front of you, it's hard to overtake them. If they're behind you, it's hard to keep them from overtaking you because they've got such good straight line speed. Um, thank you, KJJKKJJK. Cash money or young money, your choice, mate. We'll go cash money, mate. All about the cash money. All right, let's retry. Second lap, second lap, 55, 55.4, my second lap. That's what I said. Okay, get rid of the Delta. That's much better. See like a ghost. Oh, you got done there, ghost. Come on. Too late. Yeah, lost a couple of tents there. Ah, that's wide. Mid fifty five. Hey, see ya. Fifty five six. Oh man. All right. I need to be getting, I know I can do like low 55s. I should be able to just do low 55s off the bat, but we'll see in the race how it goes. Thank you, Cord M, for the five Canadian dollars. Do you have any tips for a new wheel user? I find I scrub the front tires a lot. I have a Logitech wheel, cheers, mate. Um, Scrubbing the front tires. Thank you, Michael Reese, for the $10. Cheers, man. Tips for a new wheel user. Scrubbing the front end a lot. Yeah, it's hard to know. Like, you just you're just turning too much, and it's like you maybe you're wearing out your tyres too much. I mean, in a race like this, it's sort of all right because there's no tyre wear. Maybe you can. What you can do, what you can do, is go in the options and turn up your um, tyre squeal noise. And you you can tell from the tyre squeal noise if you're turning too aggressively. And if, if you're hearing the squealing too much, you just, I don't know, just like loosen up the steering a little bit. Have a look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa! Thank you, Theo, for the fiver. Cheers, man. So, if we got here, starting third on the grid. Um, okay. So, we've got an FT1 in front, Huracan behind. It's a brave choice, but I mean, if that car is a good car, but it's just really difficult to drive. Okay, we've got an FT1 in front. Try and get into the toe. See what we can do, y'all. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Eric. That's too much information, mate. You don't need to tell us all that. You do not need to tell us that. Nice try, though, mate. Whoa, 
there's a giant lizard on the track. Winchy, you in this race? Where are you? Oh yeah, 13th. Good luck, mate. I want you to finish 6th. That's your aim. <laughs> you got to finish 6th. If I don't. If I don't. I've got a fan in here. Let's say hello, viewer, to him. Hello, viewer. Like, oh my god, Super GG replied. <laughs> he says, I will be on YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, you will be. You see that message? I don't know if you can see it. It says, I will be on YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha. You sure will, my friend. Mum, I've made it. Ha ha, he says. <laughs> Mum, get the camera. Mum. Thank you, Jacob. I was here when you first tackled the Nürburgring. After I took your advice, I got my first win on GT Sport. Love to hear it, Jacob. Legend. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. You Jonah Pollard, how are you doing after today's crash in FP2? Well, you know, I thought, let's just chill out with a bit of Gran Turismo, take my mind off it, and we'll go back strong tomorrow, you know? Right, here we go then. So, we're trying to improve our rating, 61,000 at the moment. You know, I don't know how much you'll go up by. Let's say I finish third. It might go up by 400. I don't know, we'll see. If I finish third. Getting a bit ahead of myself here. Got a race to do yet. Might not finish third. Right, let's go. Oh, he's getting close already. Damn, son. They're fighting behind.
don't quite have the pace here. Leave it to the guys behind, thankfully. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. This isn't good. I'm gonna have to defend now. <laughs> Of course he's going to send it. Oh, I don't know how to save that. That was a close one. My goodness. This guy's got a penalty anyway, so let's just stick on him. Okay, I kind of done a right out of that because now there's no one close to me. I've gone purple. Somehow. Okay, you just got to be more careful out of that corner. The big banky boy. He just did a 54-7. Jesus. That's quicker than my qualifying lap. Damn, son. Someone's good. Oh, they're not free of breath back there. My goodness. Right, just bring it home, bring it home in third, see what our rating goes up to. Hmm. Bit of a weird race this one. I've driven alright but also quite rubbish, but I find myself in a kind of a lucky third to be fair. for twice I think I need to be going a couple of tenths quicker than that at least but we got our third I have to take that we'll see 
this driver rating at the top of the screen should update itself every 30 seconds so we'll see in a moment what we've got up to all right race one we've got a podium somewhat get in there lewis random call sign in the house how you doing mate how are you doing how are we all doing today hope you're all good on this friday evening well it's friday evening for me maybe it's uh maybe it's saturday morning where you are or friday morning or friday afternoon i don't know okay so we've gone up to 61513 all right went up by about 500 that's right not bad we'll take it Everyone's moaning about this Dr. MotoGP guy. All right, let's have a look at the replay. Your pedals are too close for racing. They feel fine for me, mate. Don't know what you're on about. If anything, you want pedals close in racing so you can uh, heal and tow. <gasps> give me, please give me a good car. Please, please, <laughs> please. Yes, I always wanted that. Yes. <laughs> what ABS setting are you using? Uh, default, I think. Well, let me just double check that. I always forget. Um, oh. Controllers. Oh, when we go back into the next race, I'll show you. Uh, what was I going to do? Replay. Let's have a very quick look. How does the racing work? Um, what does he need to get to? Well, I don't really have to get to anything. It's just I want to get it higher, basically. Um, basically, for the FIA races... For the FIA races, the higher the rating you have, the, the higher lobby you'll go in and you can get more points. So it's better to have a higher rating. Um, thank you, Sean Tyler. Mr. Testicles. What a name. Thank you for the five dollars, my friend. Right, um, who's this guy everyone's going on about? This guy. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Thank you, Robert. <laughs> yeah, man. You gotta learn your lessons, you know. Oh, mate. Let's see that again. How did I not die? How did I not meet my fate? Oh, there we go. Back wheel. That was a save and a half. Let's see what this guy's all on about then. Oh, wait. Ooh, uh, you can't really go for moves at that corner. You can't, you, you, that's just not a corner you go for a move on, unless the other guy's made a massive mistake. Thank you, Chris Rodriguez. Fanatec rim, would you suggest on a CSL wheelbase? Um, well, the McLaren one I'm using is really good, but they don't sell it anymore. Um, <sighs> This guy loves a big send, doesn't he? Thank you, De Papel. Yeah, man, he'll tread socks are awesome. Anyway, look, I went on the he internet went this week and I found this. Thank you, Winchy. Ah, oh, you finished P12. Well, you went up a position. Is he gonna go? Yeah, he just loves a big send. This guy, doesn't he? Loves it. Loves a big send. Let's see what else went on with him. <laughs> These guys aren't happy with him. It's gone deep. Thunder's coming back in the Lambo. Heisenberg up the inside. He's going to hold it around the outside. He tries to run him out. He ain't having any of it. Forces him narrow. 
Oh, he's running wide. Lamborghini coming into the play. Coming into the picture. He's gone right across to block him. It's getting really rather aggressive now. This is what I saw in the rearview mirror. Well, when I look behind. Oh, three abreast into this turn. It's got... And you got, you got a two-second penalty for that. Ollie went up, like, to sixth. I want to see how Ollie does this. <laughs> he went up to sixth place. Let's Let's see how Ollie did it. Well, he got himself a penalty there, and he's still got into sixth. We'll just watch this, and then we'll jump into the race. It's a big train coming down, down the hill into the big banky boy. Oh, they're swerving. The Italian up the inside, as is the Frenchman. There's contact. He's gone. Oh, he's dead. He's been sent by the Frenchman. Up the inside. Anyway, look. Oh, see you later, mate. This week and I found this. There's Ollie, there's one position, there's two. Thank you, Ruben, for becoming a member. Welcome. Oh, there's two, so he's got one more position to gain. Oh, on the Frenchman now. Okay, so that's how it happened. <laughs> good good last lap for Ollie. <laughs> Alright, let's jump into the next race. Ba -da -ba -na 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 -na. We'll jump into the FT1 again, but I think I want to try the suit not that race. I want to try the Supra at one point. The Supra. <laughs> Are you surprised we haven't seen any GT7 gameplay? No, I'm not surprised. They will take their time with GT7, so I'm not surprised at all. What's your opinion on the F1, F1 podium uh, Fanatec wheel? Um... I like it. I, I mean, I've got one. Oh, let me try and get it. Oh, ow. Is this the one you're talking about? The podium? Yeah, this is pretty much it. This one here. So it's got the podium modules on the back. It's a really good rim, this one. Lots of buttons. Um, so you see this is the PlayStation one as you have all the square, triangle, circle, etc. Um, it's, it's really sturdy, it's firm, the buttons are just really satisfying. Just listen to that. Oh, it's, it's just lovely. I could click those all day. Oh man. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a really, the the other the other ones are very similar to this. There's I mean there's they have like five rims which are like basically like this but not exactly the same but they're all pretty much the same, just sort of different colours. And the club sport one has that goes across at the bottom, so it's like a bit different. But um, how much did it cost? Well, this one came with the base, um, and that was that retail at sixteen hundred euro. Luckily, they gave it to me for free. Thank you, Fanatec. You absolute legend. But it's a good rim. I mean, it's a really good build quality. You're buying a premium product when you when you buy this. Uh, so it's good. But I mean, I, I use this. I like this um, the McLaren. It just feels it feels better on a, a GT car, which I, I'm for the most part I'm driving GT cars whenever I'm playing Gran Turismo or most games. So a GT rim just feels I don't know feels better. But this does feel better on like on a formula room. I mean I could I won't do it for this race. I could try it for a race today. We could try it. R4M Ricardo in 14th place. Love it. Do 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 Righty then. We go again. Let's try and get our rating up. What are we going to try and get it to? I think... I want to know what I... Let me just quickly check what it was at my absolute peak. When I was at the peak of my powers. Um, I know, wait. The highest my driver rating has ever been... Um, hmm. Let me see now. I think it was like, 
here it is. 68,889 is the highest I've ever had it. So nearly 70. Nearly 70,000. Um, I think anything above 65 would be good for me. The maximum rating used to be 75. They increased it to 100. I don't think there's many people on 100,000. If anyone. I really don't think there's many. Um... Anything around 65, 70, you're, you're going to be in like second or third split in FIA, I think. How long have I been playing GT Sport? Um, I bought it, when was it? Octo pretty much when it came out, October 2017, so more than three years. Yeah, six for weights, mate. Cool. Hope We're not. Um, you're considering buying this wheel um, it depends what base you're going to put it on if you're going to put it on a direct drive base you, you probably want a rig like a proper rig to put it on um, alright let's jump into this one then Need to stay in the toe a bit longer this time. Oh, guy behind's binned it. That's what happens when you drive the Lambo. Oh, he's going defensive. Weird decision. Come on, boys. I bet second... Look, look how good the Super is in a line. It's really hard to overtake it. We're in the slipstream and we still can't even get past it. That's how good that car is. Worth a try. Had to leave the space on the outside. He was still there. Tyler Blake. His mate. Now that is a good move. Faked him out. out of the toe though go for it and he saw my exit out from that turn do it didn't do it
late defense, but I think it was just about right. Swiss guy in fourth is pretty quick as well. He's catching up with us. So this Norwegian guy in the lead, um, I've not really seen him too much before. I mean, I've seen him this week and like last couple of weeks, but I've not really seen him much before that. But he's been really quick. Thank you, Pirat777. Thank you. He could have gone for that move. He's not going to go for it just yet. I'll read the comments in just a moment. He's got a run here. No, he hasn't. He's all right. Leader to the 54 6. What the hell? This guy's ridiculous. 55 7. That's not even. I should be able to go half a second quicker than that. I suppose I am under pressure. Thank you, William Diaz. Closer this time. You can go to the left. Thank you, Henrik. For the knocks. Okay, had to work for that. It's gonna be a second. My God, that guy in the lead, how, he's ridiculous. Doing 54 sixes, that's like, I'm pretty sure the top 10 times are like, the 10th best time I think is a 54 five. He's almost on top 10 pace in the race, which is just mad. But yeah, we can take a second. That's, that's not too bad. Thank you, Henrik. Thank you, William Diaz. Thank you, Pirat777. Thank you, Tyler Blake. Um, Tyler's asking, is it worth getting a, PC, a PS4 and GT Sport now? Or should I hold off until PS5 and GT7? I always find this question hard to answer because I don't know how much money you have. I don't know how much time you're going to put into it. It's really up to you. We don't know when GT7 is going to come out. It could be two years away. It could be six months away. We don't know. If you can pick up a PS4 for cheap, GT you know gt sport doesn't cost that much these days so it's up to you really it's, it's not it's not up to me there's still plenty of people playing this game so you can still have a have a good good uh, you still have good fun with it um do you think that the podium wheel you guys were talking about is mountable on a basic folding chair 
I don't know. It's a direct drive wheel. I, f I think you'd want something stronger than just like a, f a foldable chair. To be honest. Um, if you just think. behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, Henrik, again. Many time WRC champion from Norway, Alex Ander Oster. Okay, I had a look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa! <laughs> Justin, the guy who I was just racing very close with. My hands are freezing, so a bit scared making a move. We all know what having cold hands feels like when you're playing a game. Like, it's not good. Will you get over it? <laughs> I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Jake, for the ten dollars. Yo, Steve, dog. You sometimes compare the drafting of GTS to bicycle racing. What's your experience with bicycles? Um, uh, to be honest, um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. To be honest, I don't have a massive experience with cycling, like with road cycling. I just remember watching Tour de France. I think it was two thousand twelve when Bradley Wiggins won it. Um, and when the Olympics were in the UK. And I just got into cycling a lot. I just started watching it a lot. I started watching the Tour de France every year since then. So I just I just like cycling. But I haven't really done it myself. Um, as much as I'd like to, I think it's... I mean, at the gym, I go pretty hard on a cycling machine, but... Turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. All right, let's give the Supra a run out, shall we? Thank you, Winchy. Our driver rating went up to 62, 213. Went up about 700 there. It's not bad. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Winchy. I thank you, Casper, again. Hey, mate, I have an offer for you. Please do spill the beans, my friend. Um, someone else asked a question. I just glossed over it, I think. Who was that? Jake. Oh, yeah. Yo, Steve, dog. You thought, oh, the cycling. I, I did just read that one. William Diaz. Uh, is it possible to use a Logitech G29 wheel with Logitech G920 pedal pedals? Um, I'm not actually sure. I haven't owned a Logitech wheel since I was about 10, <laughs> so I don't actually know how this stuff works. Um, so, sorry, I don't actually know. Right, let's see what we can do in this car then. Batty Ray. Well done on that one. Been watching, you, uh, been watching you since long before the switch to the wheel and learned a lot. Have a great stream. Greetings from Germany. Thank you very much, my German friend. Hope you're all good. Thank you very much. Since before the wheel. God, that's going back, isn't it? Um, when did I start using a wheel? That would have been... Oh yeah, I got my sim rig January 2019, so nearly two years ago. So yeah, God, that's God, two years ago already. God, it's mad to think I was using a controller before that. Benjamin Hammonds. I got a bonus, so you get a bonus. <laughs> Keep being a legend. You are a legend. Benjamin Hammonds, what a guy. What a legend. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having Ah, oh, mate. Stop donating. <laughs> Thank you, Casper. Have you ever heard of the Race Hall of Champions? I can't say I have, my friend. I can't say I have. What's the best place to buy a decent chassis for the Fanatic Podium? Upgrading from play seat and G29. Um, if you've got the money, SimLab. SimLab. Simitic K2. Next Level Racing. GT Omega would probably be good enough. SimLab will be probably your best option, but it is expensive. Will H. I still have a PSVR to lend. Oh, hmm. I don't know if I could make a video on PSVR. Might be worth a try. I, I'll have to think about it, but I don't know. But I appreciate the offer, uh, Will. But yeah, sim if you can afford a sim lab, get a sim lab. They're, they're, they're just really good. I mean, they don't just have one rim, uh, one rim, one rig. There's multiple ones they sell. At varying price points. So I think there's SimLab like GT1 Evo, I think, which is like roughly like half the price of the other ones. So 
Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Clean Loader, for becoming a member. Cheers, brother. I say brother, I've just assumed your gender. Sorry. Um, and thank you, Victor. Go to tune when cruising with a lady. Go to tune when cruising with a lady. <laughs> um, hmm. My outro song? Never fails to, never fails to get the, the juices flowing, does that song. Oh, get out of here, penalties. Get yourself out of here. Right. Giving the super a go now, guys. See how it go see how it goes. Actually, it feels like in some ways it feels easier to drive. The FT1 it's maybe a little bit trickier on traction. Well, I thought it was the other way around, but I don't know. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the shadow realm. Thank you, Casper, again. A rental car race, okay. Well, you know what? I am looking at events to do around the world for karting. Just like, even if it's a one-off event, um, just interesting, different, quirky events. I asked on Twitter the other day about American events. Lots of people suggested different things like Atlanta, Kart Circuit, Supernats in Vegas. I'll tr maybe try and enter a couple next year if I can. If that is possible, if I'm allowed to travel. If that's a thing. Um, but let me just read that in, in, in a moment. you will again you gotta try it is it is it that good I've never I've never really seen I mean I think in terms of VR right I, I think racing games is like the perfect application of VR if you think about it because you don't have to move around the difficulty of VR is like if you have to start moving around and with racing games you don't you can just sit in your seat so in many ways, it's like this, this is the perfect use of it. But yeah, I've not tried PSVR actually. And to be honest, I haven't really tried VR all that much. I've only tried it like three times ever. I'm impressed with it, but um, I still think it's got a long way to go. But yeah, let me read that comment. It's an annual rental kart race with kart drivers from around the world. I would like you to drive for my brand. It is in Denmark and all paid. Right, okay. Um, I think, okay, it might be worth talking then. Maybe if you, my business email address is in the description. If you just send me, just send me some info, info about it, the date, the time, like maybe a video of um, well, past events and stuff like that. Saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Um, just like give me some info on it basically and we'll see what I can do oof sent two pound Steve it's James anyway look I went on the internet this week and I found this anyway look for Nick if you're looking for a real race to do do a 24 hours of lemons race I was actually invited to do that earlier this year is it this one in New Zealand where it's like where you have where you drive like silly cars like old bangers basically for 24 hours i think we're talking about the same race possibly um but it looks really good fun so you have to like buy a car really cheap i think it's like 1500 dollars or something really really low budget and you have to drive it for 24 hours at some track in new zealand i think we might be talking about the same thing there but um 500 dollars car maybe yeah so it's really really low budget but like that kind of is the beauty of motorsport, you could say. Uh, that'd be good fun. I just really hope that we can start traveling again soon. Like, I want to start doing these events, you know. I, st I want to start traveling. Can't really do it at the moment, unfortunately. But I think, when is that event normally? It's in May, isn't it? We'll have to see. Felipe. 
Stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Urban Racer 01. Does the Fanatec come with sucker mounts for desks? Um, no. I, um... If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Not that I remember. I don't know if I've got it and just threw them away because I don't need them. I can't remember. I don't think the direct drive one I've got doesn't or didn't. Thank you again, um, Casper. Everyone interested, it is Race Hall in Aarhus Vibe. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. You know, I want to start doing more international events, you know. It would be really good fun, I think. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Nick Sokolov, another member. Cheers, man. Well, welcome back. You've been a member before. Welcome back to the club. Do, 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 do. Righty then. Race number three. We've had a third. We've had a second. We've gone up by how much? Just over a 1, thousand. 1,200 driver rating so far. Started the day on 61... 0, 0, 007. Now on 62213. Right, race number three. Let's go. Same people, pretty much. Although this Swiss guy is pretty quick. So. I mean, to be fair, most people in here are quick. Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or pick one? Thank you, Nick, again. Had to dress up as S. Hostesses, love it. Sign me up for that, mate. Stuart Turner. Cheers, man. Another member. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, presumably, here. The Norwegian guy will just eventually drive off into the distance and then this Dutch guy will lose the toe. When he loses the toe, that's when I have to strike. I would say this super feels like the better car for the race because of its straight line speed. more speed for that corner. And that one. Okay, not a bad first lap, I'm a lot closer than before. Let's see what ma maniac lap time the leader can do. That guy is ridiculous. God, that's really bad. Oh man, that's awful. Thank you for another donation there. I've just seen it. Oh mate, I've lost out horribly there. We need to sort that out. 
Okay, the leader is not getting away. He's not having quite as good a race this time around. And now I've got pressure from behind from the Swiss guy. Who is very racy. Come on. It wasn't particularly smooth. So the guy behind has actually set the quickest lap, 55-0 on the last lap. That doesn't bode well. Okay, sort, sorted that chicane out for once. Okay, he's a bit more alert. I normally jink right and then cut left as soon as they move, but he was alert to it. Ah. He's going to have a chance at the top of the hill. Put it in the middle and he backed out. Oh, he's going to be close. I'll just about keep it. One more lap. Oh, come on. Come on. Give me power, chat. Give me defensive strength against this guy. Otherwise, I'll blame you all. If you D. See, look, the power's working. I'm driving much better now. See, look, it's not even on me. Give me power. I hate that corner, I can't get it right. Oh! Oh, he's overcooked it behind. Left it in the oven a little bit too long there, mate. Got back on me. 55.5. Come on, I need to be quicker than this. Third, though. <laughs> Had to work for it. Had to work for it. <laughs> Christian Candler. Super GT, more like Fanatec customer service. Don't you know it, mate? Don't you know it?
Thank you to D. My question, should I get the club swap wheelbase with a drive hub converter or is this rubbish? Or CS Elite wheelbase with club swap pedals? Um, you haven't told me what console you're playing on, so I don't know what your end goal is. If you're playing on PlayStation, you just need to buy a PlayStation base. If you're playing on Xbox, you just need to get an Xbox rim. It is as simple as that. That's basically the, the lowdown on it. And after the stream, could you answer my Instagram DM, please? I really need your help to solve a, pro a setup problem. I'll do my best, my friend. I'll do my best for you. What have we got up to now? 62682. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, that guy. Um, why does Jimmy get uh, get invited to James May's pub and get to race in all different events with other pros or real race car drivers and you don't? Do they, don't they want the Alex Albon to race with them? Um, well, the James May pub thing is because of Drive Tribe, I would have thought. Um, the Top Gear got, oh, well, they're not Top Gear anymore, are they? They're um, Grand Tour. But they all work with Drive Tribe. Um, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, Richard Hammond. They all do stuff with um, Drive Tribe. So does Jimmy. That made sense. Um, what was the other? I mean, I don't know what this event is that he's doing at the moment, where he's racing with other... I mean, Jimmy's more like a, an outright sim racer. I, I, I mean, I do sim racing, but it's more like gaming, I would say. I, I'm playing a game. I'm, it is sim racing, but it's more of a game. So it's a bit different. But to be honest, like, it's cool, like, being able to race against all those guys. But at the same time, it's like, it's on iRacing. I just, <laughs> I'm just not that bothered, bothered with iRacing. Like, I, I don't enjoy that game. I don't enjoy that sim all that much. It can be good at times, of course, but... Let's have a look at these... T like, so... This guy in 10th... 154.492. That guy in the race just now did a 54.6. <laughs> so his time would have been, like, top 20 or something. Which is ridiculous. Absolute madness. He's on a mad thing, y'all. I have PS4 but heard the club sport is so much better but not compatible with PS4 so there is a converter you know is it worth doing it this way wait the club sport let me let me just look this up for you mate I can't remember which one is the club sport the club sport steering wheel uh so the club sport is a rim, isn't it? So as long as you buy a PlayStation base, then you're fine. It should it will work on PlayStation. You don't need to buy a converter. Um, well, I, always want to I don't think. By saying big thank you to all this this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Casper. I will send you some information on your business mail. Cheers, mate. No, I'll have, I'll have a look at that. Thank you very much. It'd be be interesting. I appreciate that. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I think GT Sport hits that nice sort of sweet spot. I think, um, you know, they market it as the real driving simulator. I'm sure that if you asked a developer at Gran Turismo, is it as realistic as iRacing or R Factor 2 or ACC, that, you know, that honestly, they would say, their honest, absolutely honest answer would be, well, it's not really. Um, but their marketing answer is, well, you know, we're marketing it for console people for the masses so so for a console casual player who normally plays burnout and doesn't break for any corner this feels like a simulation and um, but yeah it's it hits that sweet spot i'd say yeah like someone was saying in the in the chat there um where it's accessible you can just jump into gran turismo and have fun with it but at the same time you can take it seriously and try to get good at it and it's not easy to be the best and there's good competition at the highest level. So it's, it, you can cover both with this game. That's why I like it. Because with iRacing, I feel like you have to jump in, 
do three hours of practice, still not feel that comfortable. I have to do loads of setup work. I mean, it's realistic. You, you do have to practice in real life to get good and, you know, but it's not as accessible, like, it's not always as fun, I think, having to do that either. Yeah, it's, yeah, I just love Gran Turismo, you know. I think I think it just does most things right. It just does it really well. We're going to race four in just a moment, two minutes time. Um, so what have we had so far? Third, second, third, and we've gone up by two thousand, no, one thousand five hundred. Not too bad. Not too bad. This track is hard. It's not, yeah, it's a, it's, it's technical. It's fast, but technical, this track. Not an easy combination to get right. Not at all. Not at all. You've played this game for like at least thousand hours. You don't need the practice. Mate, you can always get better. Of course, you always need practice. Anyone needs practice all the time. Unless I was winning every race by 10 miles, there, then I need practice. Miracles do happen, mate. Chris Tibble. Thank you very much, Chris. Another stream bonus. Have I missed much? Um, I've had three races so far. Fairly solid races. Not too much drama. Fairly, you know, just drove to the line. There was a bit of defending to have to do, but third, second, third so far. Mr. Reckon says, thank you for streaming. I love your content. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Is third the new sixth? I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> the sixth place curse is, uh, it's really, it's cursed me for many a day, many a year. The PS5 is sold out everywhere, yeah. I mean, at the moment, it's not too much of a problem because there's not really many games out on the PS5. Um... I'm sure that before GT7 comes out, you should be able to get your hands on one, hopefully. Are you playing on PC or PlayStation? PlayStation. This game is not on PC. You told me to get sick for the best I've done is ninth. <laughs> Just stay on all night, mate. Eventually, people will start logging off, and then you're about to get your sixth place. If you want to get some easy wins, just play at like four in the morning. Boom, no one's playing. All the good players are in bed. Will you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Can you go to the next race? Shake my head. The game's doing it. I can't fast forward time, mate. Thank you, D, for the tenor. Um, Club Sport is the wheelbase. Heard better than the CSL Elite. Thanks for the amazing content inspiring me to take up sim racing. Currently, B, drive rating, and S, S, R. Aiming for AS. Good luck. Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck to you. Um, Club Sport is the wheelbase. Okay. I heard it's better than the CSL Elite. I need to brush up. Wait. Let me. Wheelbases. Podium. Um, well, I always want to start by saying oh, thank yeah. you to this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it is. Um, Oh, the Fanatec website doesn't work probably. Uh, oh yeah, so right, the fan, yeah, the Club Sport is an Xbox base, so you won't be able to use that on PlayStation because you can't put a PlayStation rim and make to make it work. So yeah, you can't buy the Club Sport for PlayStation. You'd have to buy the CSL Elite. But to be honest, the CSL Elite is a good rim. I, I had it before. It's, it's good. Uh, thank you, Alan Adams. Thank you for the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much, mate. By saying big thank you to this this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Uh, thank you, Isaac. If the Pikes Peak Hill Climb was an optional addition to the game, would you buy it? Yeah, I'd buy it. I mean, you have to consider that I'm a YouTuber, so it would make sense for me to buy it and make a video on it. Let's say I was just buying it for myself, just to play for fun. Yeah, I'd buy it. I'd buy every DLC on this game. 
Thank you, Rory. What is Rory saying? Love your content. Big ups from New Zealand. New Zealand, man. What time is it in New Zealand now? Like nine in the morning? Saturday? Good stuff, mate. Thanks for tuning in. We are seriously worldwide. I've always found that pretty mad that right now there's people watching from all around the world, even though the world is flat. <laughs> I fell off the edge of the world once. Like, it's, it's flat, I can tell you. I fell off the edge and I was like, oh, and I just about held on. Pulled myself back up. It was mad, let me tell you. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I swear the world was round and I fell off the side, fell off the edge. Turns out it's flat. Crazy, mate, crazy. Righty then, let's go. Oh, we've got a different Norwegian in, in pole position now. Has he signed into a second account or something? in the Audi. Right. Thank you for that. Duran. Duran Duran. Cheers mate. Honestly. What the f are we doing here? Honestly. Yeah that guy is just on the second account. He's he's still flying. Thank you, Jay Black. Oh, look at this. FT1 is a sitting duck, y'all. Oh, <laughs> done you there, mate. <laughs> the little fake out. I'm going to the outside. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Uh, pulling out the tricks. I'm like a magician. Shame I've got no pace. And he'll come back at me. So many little tricks you can do in motorsport and if you want to start getting past people you've got to bust out some of these tricks from time to time all these intricate little things you can do oh that's wide you can go to the outside my friend I think um, my defence is probably one of my better attributes in this game. I do need to work on my pace and like, oh god, that's wide. I think just overall pace needs to improve. Um, Overtaking is not too bad, defence is good, but like it's just tyre management and fuel management I think is my main weakness on this game. I need to work on those. But like tactically, I think I'm all right. As in like, when it comes down to a 1v1 battle, like the tactics of trying to beat someone in a direct duel, I'm all right at that. Right, he's right on me now. And I'm going to have to defend all the way to the right. Let him go to the left. Okay, the R8 is back in the fight now. So let them fight with each other in a minute. Oh, he's got a run here. Have to defend it, I'm sorry. It's only a four lap race. Has to be done.
required. 56 1, that lap, not very good. up the train here. Eh? No! Okay, that's not good. I'm still going to have to defend it. Okay, well, I just need to have a really good couple of sectors here. Don't lose too many positions. Gotta go for it. Oh god, not like that. Oh, he dropped off, okay. That okay, this might be oh, this will be sketchy this when I serve this penalty. Come on. Yes, keep fighting, keep fighting. Yes, come on. That's what I need. I could still stay in second. Done it again. What an idiot. Oh, for God's sake. Should still get fourth here, though. This will be a one second penalty. a fourth ah that's frustrating silly mistake just one little miss just drifted a little bit just went a little bit too wide I mean the corner I got the penalty on you do have to cut it but not that much not that much oh well fourth what have we got? Third, second, third, fourth. It will have to do for now. We'll see what our rating goes up by. SR might go down a little bit. But yeah, it's still a good race. A Super FT1. I was using the Super just then. I think the Super might be the better car overall. Even though the FT1, I think, is quicker on the leaderboards, I think. What time did I get? 55.8. Yeah, see, look, my lap times aren't that quick. I need to be getting like low 55s, I think. 
<sighs> yeah, I know I cut the corner, but like honestly, you have to cut the corner. You have to keep two wheels on the curb, two wheels outside of the curb. That's the way to take that corner. Obviously, I just cut it a tiny bit too much. If you don't cut the corner, you're just going to go there through there horrifically slowly, and there's just no point. <laughs> So you've got to cut it, but you've got to cut it right. That's the thing. Um, almost got it right there, but just went over the line twice, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it was a good race until I messed it up. I'm trying to think of any other car. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What other cars are on there? Beetle. Yeah, so the FT1 is the quickest car. There is a Supra in the top four but then eighth ninth and tenth there's a beetle there as well it's interesting which corner um it's in the middle of the track how do i describe it so you know the where the back straight is. Before that, you've got a long sequence of left, right, left, right. And it's like the second corner, the right-hander. You have to go like off the track. I mean, let me show you. I'll show you the number one time. I'll show you the line that you need to be taking. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, the Super doesn't definitely get the rank one time as well. It's Conster in the chat. He's got the number one time, actually. One of my best mods... And he's got the number one time. What a legend. What a hero. Do, do, do. So let's load this time. This is, no, this is the number one time. In maybe the world, but certainly in EMEA. My turn four is sketchy. Please don't look. Okay, we'll blur it out. But to be to be fair, like to get a number one time, you have to cut the corner. It's just it's the game's fault. I don't blame the players for cutting the corner. If the game lets you do it, like that's what the track limit is. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the shadow realm. Okay, if I look away, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh mate. Anyway, look. Play Apex there. Times on the internet this week, and I found this. So the corner I was cutting, they got two penalties on the last race. Not this left-hander. The next right. So just look where you have to go. You have like that's the line you really need to take. It keeps you more to the right. It gives you a better angle going into the left. If you get this corner right, you can take the left flat. You don't have to lift, and that gives you so much time on that straight. You're just gaining so much time on the straight because you took this one flat out. So, um, so yeah, all four wheels beyond the beyond the line. I obviously just went. I think it's on this grey bit. If you keep two wheels on the red and white, you're all right. Anything beyond all four wheels beyond, then no. Then you're saying hello to the stewards. So he's just taken that perfectly, just comes back onto the track at the end of the curb, and then you can take this one flat out. And again, you see that just went completely beyond the lines, but that's the line. That's how you gotta do it. So that is God, that is right on the I think you can take the whole curb here. It was like turn four, you can just go all over the white stuff. You don't actually have to stay on the red and white, I don't think. But yeah. That's what it is. So, I don't. To be honest, right? If they just made it four or two wheels inside the white line, it would just be so much easier. And I think the best players in the world will still be the best players in the world. It wouldn't change. They'll just adapt. The best players just adapt to whatever's whatever the line is, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that's the corner, or the right hander before it. Uh, maybe I need to stay a bit wider and come in for a later apex there. I'm turning in too early, I think. 
How about these last couple of corners? Just has a nice little coast mid turn down to second gear, rotate the car back to third. Again, you can run wide there. This one's quite tricky to judge before the curb ends. Lots of coasting to get the car to turn. Okay. Just a very tidy lap. What's a track limit? Well, in this game, they're just weird. <laughs> the, the worst one is probably, or the most noticeable one, is probably the center S at Interlagos. The right hand bit, like you just go two wheels on the curb, two wheels beyond, and you're like, you're like two meters away from the track. But there you go. That's the way it is. I do one more on the FT1, but I will give another car a go. But let's not forget that today is about grinding driver rating, so I don't want to use a crap car. <laughs> so I have rating now? 63,000. We went up by 2,000 today. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I can't jump in. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Use the Master X Vision, isn't that? I'm trying to work out what is the worst car in Group Three because I might make a video on it. I, from what I can tell, you see, lots of people say that Master RX Vision, or maybe the BMW M3 GT. Um, because cars like the BMW Z4, the Hyundai Genesis, I've seen those driven very quickly. I know that they can go quick. Um, but I think the M3 GT is a, a that's always been anyway, a bit look, crap. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Winchy. A pleasure, a pleasure, mate. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the donations, mate. Um, thank you, Rory and Mr. Brisket for the earlier donations and Duran. Um, Mr. Brisket asks, hey, man. Love your content. How did you end up getting involved with Quadrant? It's really cool. Um, so Lando's management basically contacted me about it and we spoke about it f for a, a while and I liked what they were about when I joined. I think they they asked me to join. They, they liked the fact that I did virtual racing and real racing, so I had a bit of both, which I think is quite unique because obviously you have a lot of sim races and you have a lot of people doing real racing, but you don't really have people doing both you don't have too many people doing both jimmy does both but there's not many people doing both so i think that's what they liked honestly what the f are we doing here long time ago but i'm back mr 98 akoli 98 welcome back my friend thank you very much and rory said this one's for you and the rest of the quadrant thank you very much thank you very much brother Right, side like third again. It's pretty much the same people. The top three have been the same every race. I don't. It's going to be really hard to win with that that Norwegian guy there. He's just ridiculous. He's so quick. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Mutt Eater. I know it's not your style, but try street cars. Um, well, this week we don't have a street cars daily race, so it's not my choice, really. Yeah, I've never really been too keen on the road cars on this game. They're a bit blocky to drive. I, I like the Group 3 and above, or Group 4 and above. Know what I'm saying, y'all? Go then, let's jump out for a bit. Keith, what's up, Steve? Getting baked with my brother. Love your stuff, mate. Thank you very much. Funny enough, my brother is called Keith. Keith. Thank you for the donation, Keith. Have a good one, my friend. 
can you give me advice on what I should buy for a steering wheel or setup? Depends on your budget, mate. If, if money's no object, Simlab P1, Fanatec Direct Drive, boom, done. But I don't know how much money you've got, so it's hard for me to suggest. Righty then, race number five. We've had a third, second, third, fourth. We've gone up 2,000 driver rates in. Oh, it's gone to the next line. Up there. God damn it. Oh well. Leave it. Um, see what we can do. Can we get that elusive win? Probably not. This Norwegian guy who's an absolute maniac on pace. Let's go. Okay, I had a look on the internet, and this was on. Brown boy, what am I grinding for? Driver rating. I'm trying to improve my driver rating in the game. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Thank you, another donation. My goodness. My goodness, guys. It's too much. It's too much. You gotta stop. Why does F1 not race here? Well, there's quite a good reason, which is it's not real. Oh, God. Murray Walker. Oh! God! I've got the slipstream, brother! Woo! Almost hit him. My goodness. Oh, God! This could be a second. Come on. Let's get that second. Ahmad, poor donations. Stop it. Stop it. You've got to stop, mate. No, stay on. Thank you, Ahmad. Oh, I'm on you now, mate. Pressure's on, boy. Okay, this will be a good run. I'll we'll follow him wherever he goes. If he swerves, I'm following him. Is he going to fall for the trick again? No. Well done. He's learned his lesson. Stay to the side until I've committed. Oh, okay. He's going to give me the room. Tricky. Thank you, Tricky, for becoming a member. I'm surprised he gave me the room. He didn't have to. He could have just taken the line and I would have backed out. Fair enough. Two more laps to go. Get in there, Lewis. 
Oh, what's happened to him? He's made a mistake. Oh, what's he done? What's happened? Oh, I think he got punted. Guy behind got a penalty, so I guess that must be what happened. Using my extreme detective skills, which I've built up over many years of racing experience. I'm 94% sure that he got punted from behind. Well, we'll see in the replay. Now we've got a Portuguese guy for company. Cristiano Ronaldo's playing. Cristiano, go on, Sam. Head down, come on. That's worth a tenth. Rubbish, come on. Come on, I need a better lap time. I've done the low 55 yet today. 54, mid 55, come on. Shifted too early. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Thank you, Will. That's, uh, um, I, I don't know. I don't think he's seen it, but I'm sure he'd laugh at it. He's a good, he's a good guy, Mr. Limitless. Yo, JD here, Tio Limitless. Come on. It's so frustrating when you can't get it quite right. P1's gone again. <laughs> guy's mad. I need whatever he's having for breakfast. This Norwegian guy. <laughs> he's, he's just so good. It's an absolute boost. Come on. Low 55. 54. Ah, come on, mid 55.6 again. Ah, oh, man. Well, it's the second place. <laughs> Could be worse, couldn't it? Could be worse. Let's save the replay so what happened behind. There we go, another second. Well, clean race is six. God, is that a record? A clean race, who would have thought it? They exist. They are a thing, you know. Right, replay. Detective Steve Brown reporting in for duty. We're about to see what went on between the Swiss driver and the Netherlands driver at turn one, lap number three. Let's take a look. Thank you, Will H. I just saw your donation there as well, mate. Da na 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 na.
if you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the shadow realm. Obligatory predictions for F1 and F2 this weekend. Um, F2, I don't really know. I don't watch it enough to know what's going on. F1, Hamilton. Um, Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen. Although, isn't it meant to be raining? We'll see. I can tell you why he got his defence better this time. Actually, was it this lap? No. So this time, he stayed to the right and waited for me to go to the left and then moved across. In the a couple of races ago, he started moving over and then I, I jumped into the right. So he did the right thing there. So now I've committed to the left and he's got the inside. That's what you want when you're defending. Make sure the other car goes to the outside. And he's done that. But the thing he didn't do, which I'm quite surprised about, he went in too narrow. That's what he did. So at this point, he needs to be moving left with me and just be... He doesn't need to be leaving the space. He needs to be right next to me so that he's going in at a good angle. So the mistake he's made, when he's on the brakes, he needs to be like right next to me. So he's going in at a really bad angle here. And that, yeah. And he messed himself up mid corner. And yeah, that's why that's, he should have moved out with me or forced me Why? Because he's ahead, he can do that. Just into the corner, it's fine. Oh, there you go. Right, let's see what happened. Uh, yeah, I mean, he really didn't want to do that, did he? It's just, just one of those things. Just one of those things. He's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. Thank you, Arthur M. Boogie. Just saw you become a member today as well. Appreciate that. More donations, three point. 9k watching, but only 1.3k likes. If you can't donate Arthurem, Arthurem that like button and support and appreciation. Great content, Steve. Thank you very much. You the real OG, yo. You the real OG. Thank you very much, mate. Right, let's jump into a slightly different car. Should I give it a go in the BM? That'd be a really stupid thing to do. I know I said Beetle earlier, but... BMW a good choice? Probably, no, I don't think it is. Not this track. R8 seemed pretty good. I'm trying to think what else. Um... Screw it, Beetle. Let's do it. Let's just do it now. Get it done. Get it done, y'all. Get some practice laps in. And we shall be good. The M6 used to be number one here long ago, yeah. I think the M6 is too cumbersome in the in the fast sweepy corners, like that middle sector where you gotta go left, right, left quickly. I don't know how well it will do that, but maybe it'll be all right. Maybe I just need to get good. Let's see what we can do first lap. If I can do a sort of 55-7 or something first lap, that's all right. Wait, TCS is on. God damn, right, turn that off. Yeah, the beats will be good for you there. This feels good on the brakes as well. The Yeetle. Should be good for the banky, the banky boy. Oh, hello, all right. A little bit slidey in the slow corners.
Just on the downshift, I guess. The Beetle, everyone. We all love the Beetle. Yeah, it's actually very solid. It's rather planted, I must say. Oh, well, upshift quite early. Oh, it's really easy to go through that corner in this car, yeah. It's really good through there. Like in the FT1 and the Supra, you're like, you're on the limit. If you, you have to get it dead right to get it flat. But in this, is that was actually a lot easier. Maybe because it's a bit slower, but... Straight line speed might be the weakness as well. So it might be a sitting duck on the straight. But we shall see. The main aim really, therefore, is to stick in the toe. Miracles do, happen, Miracles do happen, mate. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Let me read that in just a moment. Let me uh, complete this lap. Yeah, I feel comfortable in this car. We'll just have to see how good it is in the race. In terms of straight line speed. That's always going to be the problem around here. If you don't have it, you're a bit of a sitting duck. I have to stay on the toe. Hey Nick, yeah you're the guy who almost got me cancelled. 55-6, first lap. Alright. That's not too bad. That's basically what I've been doing all day. Tenth up. Oh, love it. One and a half tenths up on a 0.6. All right. Okay, yeah, this car's all right. And gaining more up here. And I did get a couple of these corners wrong, so. All right, yeah, this car's all right. This car's good. All right. Yeah, all right. It's just a straight line speed. We'll see about that. We shall see. Right. What have we got? Pretty much the same. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the shadow realm. The leader's getting confident. He's gone in the 458 Ferrari. All right. All righty. He'll still probably just boss it and destroy us. John Cena drove backwards into a wall today in F2. And his name is John Cena. Look how close that qualifying is. I'm 0.013 quicker than fifth. Damn, son. That is close. Every tenth, every half a tenth, every tenth of a tenth matters. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> Tom Racing 93 The leader just said I'm a drop like a stone <laughs> Well he's not very confident About his Ferrari pace We'll have to see We'll have to see When are you going to invite Momos to be a special guest on the channel? Hey, he doesn't he doesn't need the invite, he just turns up when he wants. Um, well, I always <laughs> want to start by saying a big thank you to all this this crowd. I mean you guys have been amazing. Swiss guy asked uh, the Norwegian guy to take me out. I saw that. <laughs> I I see that mate. All good fun. All good fun. Now do four laps under 155 in the race. Mate, 
when I did my 154.9, that was like an absolute banging perfect lap by my standards. The chance of me doing it four times in a row in a race is like probably not going to happen. Right, you never know though, you never know. One day I might get good, one day I might get good, and then it might happen. You have to stick around for that, could take a couple of years. Right, here we go, race number six. Let's hope I don't finish sixth. Let's watch this Ferrari in the lead then. This could get interesting if he doesn't back his own pace in it. Could be interesting. He fancied a bit of a challenge, it seems. The boys back at Maranello don't have much confidence. In before he just drives off into the distance. And just wins by miles. Which he's done already. Would you believe? Would you believe it? <laughs> he's already gone. That car's supposed to be... I don't know. If you're good, you're good. Let's put it that way. You know, we can always joke like this car's rubbish, that car's rubbish, but if you put the best players in any car, they'll still find a way. Oh, look at this. I've got the toe. If you keep oh. behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Of course I'm going to send it. Of course I'm going to send it, mate. Thank you, Sven. He's gone straight up into second. Thank you, Death Strike. Right. Come back here, Ferrari. Oh! Come on! This is my time. Get away, get away, get away from the bunch. Oh, see ya! Bye bye. Can we win a race? Come on. I need to do three 54 nines. Fifty-three nines, more like. guy's still really quick in the Ferrari. Okay, I'll have a look on the internet and this was on it. Thank you. I've just seen that one. I'll read these after the race. Dear chat. Come on, get around the corner, mate. I'm actually gaining a little bit. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I think they're gaining on me. Don't get too complacent here. They could still catch me. They're only two tenths away from slipstream. One tenth away from slipstream. Okay, yeah, this race isn't over. Absolutely is not over yet. Behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Matching him. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. But he's using a car that isn't suited to this track, or suited to any track, to be fair. Oh, this R8 is quick as well. What are we going to do here? 55.9, not that great. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. Plan F for the Ferrari.
Execute order 66 in the Ferrari, mate. Come on. Woo! Okay, that's not good. They're on me. Kind of. God, it doesn't like that corner. Oh, no. That's not good. That's just nicked good. Oh, that's a good line. That's the line. That's what you want. Come at me, RA. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Oh, don't do it. You didn't do it. Good decision. Thank you, Mr. Grimace, for becoming a member. Legend. Welcome to the Champions Club. Oh, he's so close. Doesn't go for it. Doesn't go for it. He might have done on another day. Okay. We've got a race on our hands here. One more lap. Let's try and keep this second place. Get over it. Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Casper. Oh, God, that's not a good time to look up. My... Oh, he's backing off. All right. I don't know why he did that. Thank you, Mr. Grimace, again. Oh, come on. Oh, he's gone for it. I wanted to cut him back, but I couldn't. Fair enough, good move. Oh, he's letting me get what what's he doing what's he done there has he forgotten how to press the throttle that was weird let him go to the outside you can have the outside any day of the week my friend it won't work out for you yeah you kind of just gifted that to me I don't know why he just backed off the power. That's just weird. Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> Pumped me over the line. Oh, okay. That was a good fight. Good fight. Got a second again. Might have missed a shift. That might have been a possibility. Yeah. Yes, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Matt, for... Matt Amos, you can see him in the chat. A.K.A. D's Nuts, for anyone who watched the Buckmore Park uh, vlog. He sorted out my donation alert, the little graphic you see. So thank you, Matt. Absolute G. Go and, go and have a look at his channel. Mr. Matt Amos. At least it wasn't sick. Yeah. We haven't finished sick today. Is this, is this actually a Super GT stream? It can't be. There's no way it is. 55.9. Thunders did a 55.3. That's the sort of pace we need to be. Ollie did a 55.2. Do, 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 do. Oh no, Swiss guy's back to A rate. F. F in the chat. What's my rating now? 64. 287 we've gone up by 3200 today that's not too bad for one day for how many hours we've done 
two hours two hours of racing we've gone up three thousand not bad not bad the beat was actually pretty good the brakes weren't all that great i felt like they were and they weren't it was weird some corners it was it felt really fine but then going down that where i got overtaken on the last lap that corner it wasn't that great Oh yeah, sorry Casper. Let me um I'm going there tomorrow. Any info you want to know? Um I just want to know about the event, mate. Just like any stuff about the event, when it is, how long it takes, the competition, what's the competition like, what the cart's like, the format of the event, you no, know, all these sorts of things. Nearest hotel, nearest city, nearest town. Mr. Grimace, thank you. Thank you for the donation, thank you for becoming a member, thank you, Nick. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. And Rui Rodriguez. Here's the guy who sorted out my driver rating at the top of the screen. He, he made a nice little browser source thing for me. So thank you, Rui. Um, was it I'm J Concepts on Twitter? Go and have a look. Thank you very much, mate. But yeah, sorted that out for me today. So, and it just like an automatically updates my driver rating. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Very, very useful. I do appreciate that. Uh, did I save that replay? I don't think I did, did I? What a silly Billy. Right, so what have we had so far? We've done six races. I think I've finished second twice. Oh, sorry, second three times. Third, third, fourth. When I finished the fourth, because I got a stupid penalty when I was in second. So actually, I've not been doing too badly. I've been doing too badly. Whoa, is that Wi-Fi password in the chat? The legend, he's actually here. Yes, mate, I've got the tribute, the tribute to Wi-Fi password. I'm wearing it. <laughs> Wi-Fi password, he must be one of the most powerful characters in Gran Turismo. He must be one of the most popular and powerful Gran Turismo characters in the GT universe. What, what a guy, what a guy. No one hates him. Everyone loves him. Everyone loves Wi-Fi password, right? Everyone. Wi-Fi password neat. Because he's turned up in chat, uh, we need to... Wow! Oh, wait, I need to bust this out. RIP headphone users. How about the Toto Fist? I love that. Wow! <laughs> it's about time I did a reverse RPG uh, shot, isn't it? Been a while. It's been a while since I busted out the reverse RPGs. Michael Schumacher used to do them all the time. He was famous for doing the re the reverse RPG. Uh, are there any other good cars for this? I don't want to use a car that is not that you can't win in. Well, the Norwegian guy kind of proved you can win in any car. You just lie down. Turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. Thank you, Dior2K. Hello, viewers. Super PP here. Thank you for the 420 blaze it. Na, 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 na. 420 blaze it. The Corvette. Screw it. We're doing it. Let's go. <laughs> Corvette. Let's go, baby. Doing it for the United States. Let's go. Right, get me in here. I need a practice lap. Give me a practice lap. Doing it for America. Let's do it. Da -na 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 -na. America. It's WRX. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that car being used recently. It used to be really good. I remember it used to be used a lot in a lot of races. Right.
I ain't saying that name, mate. Nice try, though. Ooh, what's the brake bias for this thing? Am I going to do more videos or vlogs on the M2? Um, hmm. I don't plan to. I'm not... I'm not really much of an automotive car YouTuber, really. I don't really... I thought I'd make one when I got the car, but I think that's enough for me. It's a beefy sound, isn't it, this thing? Let's just run neutral bias for a second. Ooh, it sounds lovely. I remember um, when I went to watch the Le Mans 24 hour and you just knew when a Corvette went by. It just had such a unique sound. Absolutely loved it. This car's actually quite easy to drive. There's a giant lizard on the track. Love you too, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, unsayable name. Oh, well, that's not good. That's his nicked goot. Okay, this is an average lap. This will be like a 56. This car does feel decent, though. We might have to drag, a, might be able to drag a result out of it. I'm half a second up on a 56.9. Okay, there we go. Eight tenths up. Hmm. This will be interesting. I don't. I didn't get a representative lap there, really. see we shall see yeah s1 was decent there but we'll see how we go all right ollie's behind us now in the ft1 he's been improving his lap uh so the other swiss guy his rating went down but we've he's been replaced by a different swiss driver oh leader's gone for the super <laughs> Okay. Just send it. Yeah, I reckon I reckon I could win this race on the first corner. I just won't break. I'll just send it. Get into the get into the lead. Just drive off into the distance. That's my plan. Now people say that you can't win the race on turn one, but you definitely can. You 100% can, mate. If you push everyone off into the wall and then just carry on, then, you know, easy win. Solid strategy, that. That's what the best drivers do. Da 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 da. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, look, erase our choices. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Let's have a clean race. I'll do my best time I begin out. Thank you, Marco, for becoming a member. Cheers, man. Welcome along. Look at this. We're doing it for America, baby. We're going to deliver... So much freedom is going to get delivered in this race. It's going to be ridiculous. The amount of freedom. They won't know what hit them. They won't know what hit them. Do, 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 do. 
Du 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 Alrighty then. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to Let's get let's get What about this one? Hello? Let's get ready to rumble. Doesn't quite work. I need to work one out. Alrighty then, let's go. Corvette, I don't know. I really don't know how good this is going to be, but. Oh, it's quick off the line. I could go for this move instantly. Go on, mate. Oh, having to lift through there. Not ideal. Woo! Look at the pace on this. Oh, he's got me. Not much I could do there, really, I don't think. Did you Dan? Dan Moore? you again the British Travis Scott don't you know it mate This car is good. It does. It's not quite as good though as these cars, as the FT1. It's almost there. Oh, he's got himself a penalty. It doesn't like that corner. I set the quickest lap there until the guy behind me beat it.
think you might be able to take that chicane flat in this car, but you have to get it perfect. Oh, he's made a mistake. Okay. Give us that toe, mate. God, I have to lift through there. I think Ollie went for like a massive send there. Oh, okay. We'll take a third in the Corvette. We did a 55.4. I think that's the quickest lap I've done in the race so far today. That wasn't too bad. What's the highest drive rating? 100,000. I don't know if anyone's got it. I, I'm pretty sure there might be a few people with that. But yeah, I hope we did uh, the Americans proud there, bringing the Corvette to a third place. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Erwan. <laughs> Why is that Albon on face cam? Well, I have got Albon there. LOL. What did that guy do in the G in the WRX? 55.4. So I matched him, but I don't know how good the WRX is. I don't think it's that good. Third is the new P6. How many times we finished third? We finished second three times, and third three times, and then a fourth as well, I think. Track. I'm all for the balls. Thanks for helping to spread freedom one podium at a time. They they got uh, their fair share of, of freedom there, didn't they? Thank you, Dennis, as well. Fixed the game. Uh, was grabbed, now it's not. The car goes faster when you send the military to fill your petrol for you. Hashtag Gulf War. Right. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. I suppose we can watch the replay quickly. Yeah, the Corvette is actually pretty good. Like, you can see through the uphill chicane, I was struggling to take it flat. It's a bit cumbersome. Stay cool. We're bringing you the white flags. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Through the fast corners is a bit like cumbersome. 
for sure. Um, but there you go. Hello from Seattle and happy holidays. Hey, Thank you. Hey, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doug. Thanks for the content and you did us proud. Thank you very much from Seattle. And thank you, Dior. Ride your Harley proudly across the line. What are we doing? Racing or pick -pong? Will do, just for you. And thank you, Brooke. Love that you use the C7. No worries, bro. It's actually a pretty decent car. It's good. It's not too bad at all. Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! Okay, Eamon. Takeaway of choice. Uh, oh. You probably can't go wrong with a Chinese, can you? Because the amount of food you get for the amount of money you pay is really good. On a Chinese takeaway. Just nipped underneath me there, and then as soon as he was in this position, nothing I could do really. You had to kind of let him go. Um. Was that the contact? Just tapped him there, I think. That's why he got the penalty. Thank you, Raphael. Let's watch this final lap from this guy's perspective to see what it looks like from behind. That sounds weird. You know what I mean, though. Thank you, Raphael. Do you think any Group 3 car can win this race? Um, I mean, the guy in the lead, the Norwegian guy, is kind of proving that. He's winning the race. It depends where you qualify and if you're good enough. I think most people could drag most cars to a victory. It depends who's in the race with you as well, I suppose. If you've got someone in there who's just as good as you, who's in the best car and you're in the worst car, you're probably not going to beat him. Sterling, thanks for all the videos. No, thank you for watching. And thank you for donating, mate. I appreciate it. There, that's where I was struggling. I feed nut. North London Derby in two weeks. Yeah, man. I mean, Tottenham are <laughs> the better team at the moment. I think that's quite clear. I went defensive. And then I think Ollie came in out of nowhere. There. Oh my god, how far back was he? <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad. He did come in. Maybe just edged him onto the... I don't know. I don't think that was actually too bad of a move. How did he get repassed then? Because the other guy got past him. Sent it back on him. There we go. All right. Well, we'll take the third. Was it third? Yeah, it was third. What's our driver right now? Sixty-four eight three three. Nearly at sixty-five k. Alrighty. Alrighty. Hmm. Super. Thank you, F Donkey. Could you do one race with the McLaren, please? Uh, hmm. The McLaren. I don't know, is that car good enough? Maybe. But probably not, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Steve, I've got £95 worth of Hilted in my basket. Full send, bro. Do it. They're good socks. They're the best socks in the business. Thank you, Callum. Hey, man. Massive well done for Quadrant. I know Rhea personally, and she says she's super stoked. Congrats. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much, Callum. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's been really good so far. Um, they're all a really good bunch. Looking forward to doing more content. Hopefully next year we'll be able to do more real life stuff. But yeah, it's been really good. Appreciate it, Callum. Oh, what's this? Race number eight? Are we on now? I think it is. 
Race number eight. My goodness. Maybe you and Lando could swap seat for a week. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Imagine if he did that. Steve, uh, I don't fancy racing. Do you want to do an F1 race for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've done it on F1 2020. I reckon I could... Same thing, isn't it? Thank you, Brooke. The biggest rivalry in F1 is the Turkey GP dog and the Bahrain GP dog. What if it's the same dog and it just ran to the other track? It took a week, but it got there. I reckon it's the same dog. In fact, no, it's the same dog, definitely. Which dog do you reckon's quicker? To me, the bar, uh, the turkey dog looks quicker. It looks a bit bigger. I reckon the turkey dog's quicker. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Hello, Super GT. Ciao from Italy. Ciao, mate. Hello. I was in Italy last year. Where did I go? I went to... Landed in Rome. Drove down to... Pompeii. Stayed there. Drove... Drove around Naples. Stayed, stayed there. Saw Naples. Went around the Amalfi Coast. Saw Herculaneum. Which is a bit like Pompeii. Similar sort of thing. Saw Pompeii, of course. Drove back to Rome and stayed in Rome for a couple of days. Awesome country. I love Italy. Italy is awesome. The food is the food is so good in Italy. Oh my god. Italy is just yeah. Italy's the one, mate. Italy is the one. Yeah, Naples, my god. <laughs> Honestly, what are we doing? Race it or pick one? Naples is a mad city, like half the car's bumpers are held on of sellotape. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Because everyone is in a crash, like, every day, probably. It's a mad place. Everyone's doing this. Whee! It's a, we it's a weird sense of driving in Italy, right? Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Because in England, everyone's very defensive, and everyone's, like... Everyone sort of stays away from each other and, like, tries not to... But in Italy, you, you sort of... You get respected if you just cut in and just go for it. If you get over it... <laughs> I was having a shit. If I pulled out at a junction against someone in England, they'll be annoyed. Like, oh, what have you done that? What are you doing? In Italy, they're like, hey, good stuff, mate. They almost respect it when you just go for it, when you just send it. They just love it. They just love aggression. <laughs> it's just such, it's good fun, actually, driving in Italy. It's pretty scary. You go down the motorway and some people just driving like half in one lane, half in the other, and just like, that's normal. It's like, okay. In England, everyone would be like, what the F are you doing, mate? Um, thank you, Papel. Thank you, 1993 Doctor House. Ever been to Lisbon? I've never been to Portugal. I've never been to mainland Spain. I've been to Tenerife, which is technically Spain, but I've never been to Spain or Portugal. Mainland. Any cars for the Canadian boys? Um, I don't think so. Are there any Canadian... What are the big Canadian car brands? I can't even think of them. Thank you, Dr. House. Favourite Group 4 car? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really have one, if I'm honest. Maybe the Porsche? Cayman? Thank you, Raphael, for becoming a member. Appreciate it. <laughs> Here in Italy, we are rammers. Everyone's a dirty rammer. Everyone's got, like, a, an E-rating sportsmanship. But you know, I mean, it's, driving in Italy was fun, like, I enjoyed it, but it took a while to get used to, because it's not the same as England. Alrighty, let's get ready to rumble! <sighs> right, we could actually win a race now, because the Norwegian guy's logged off. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week, and I found this. He's had enough just... Just dicking on everyone all night. Right, come on. Let's get a race win. Thank you, Brooke, for becoming a member. Absolute hero. Let's do it. Do it for Toyota. The Toyota, bo uh, Toyota boy is back in... 
where are they based? Somewhere in Japan. I don't know where their HQ is. Tokyo? I don't know. Where's Toyota HQ? Anyone? Do it. Hey, oh. Becky Francisco! Cheers, ma'am. Oh, overcook. Oh, thank you, Devin. How many members are we getting? Membership train. Thank you very much, mate. Come on, Supra. the toe come on gotta follow him every inch of the way oh he's gone for it oh mate that was annoying they lost us both times technically but you gotta go for it I suppose Thank you. Oh, that might be a penalty. It is. Right, this needs to be a good sector one then. He's annoyed at himself. Thank you, David, another member, my goodness. Thanks, guys. Come on. He's on me. Get him off of me. Oh yeah, that's why you choose the Supra. So good in a straight line. Made a mistake.
Thank you. I'll read it after. Okay, that was a good lap. That was a really good lap. Low 55. Come on. No slipstream as well. No, what an idiot. Oh, for f Absolutely bottled it. <laughs> oh, what an absolute... I'm going to lose third, uh, second as well. I've got a one second penalty here. Yeah, it's going to be third. Oh no, wait. No, no, second. Oh, the guy, the guy in third made a mistake. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> God's sake. Why did I do that? Just overcooked it. My goodness. Well. Well, well, well. Thank you, Dennis. Send it for the win. Thank you, Sergeant Racing Force. Have a pint on me, mate. I will do, I think. Thank you, Doug, for the $20. That's very generous of you. For the win. Thank you very much, Doug. And Dennis, uh, Dennis again, another donation. Cheers, guys. Ah, uh, What was that? I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Got faster lap, though. LOL. R.I.P. in peace. R.I.P. in peace. Oh, Thunder's just saying he's throttle blips. That's probably why it, what happened in the last race. All right. Ah, what a silly Billy. Henrico, that was a close one. That was a close one. Thanks for the race. Uh, yeah, yeah. Catch you again soon, mate. Yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah. See ya. <sighs> What's my rating now? 65,465. Alright. That's not bad. We've gone up 4,500 today. But we still don't have that win. Four seconds. <laughs> How many races have I done? Eight. Four seconds. Three thirds and a fourth, I think. The key 25. Unlucky, mate. Good drive, though. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Thank you, key 25. Appreciate it. But yeah, I absolutely bottled it, mate. Mr. Hippo, Citroen is such an underrated car. 
I want to go with a Supra again because I think I can win in that car. Where is the the R4M mobile? I mean, the Audi's good. The guy just won in it, but I mean, I should have won that race. I'm just an idiot. Where is anyway, it? look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. It helps. If it helps, most prominent cars in Canada are Honda and Ford. There were some Canadian car manufacturers in the past game, but I don't believe in GT Sport. Yeah. It's, is it a weird thing that Canada doesn't have like, like a massive car manufacturer? Because it is a big country. I don't know. But then again, you could say like, I don't know really any makes in Russia. I suppose, you know, you don't... Not every country has to have a car manufacturer, does it? Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. You guys have been amazing. Thank you, StuR32. The bottler is back. Regrettably so. Regrettably so, my friend. Canada specialise in so much snowboard pills. <laughs> Larder. Well, okay, yeah, the population of Canada isn't huge, I guess, but um, area-wise it is, I suppose. But yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Larder. How could I forget? The real OG manufacturer. Why aren't they in this game? I want to see a Larder Group 3 concept car. It needs to be a thing, along with the Dacia Sandero Group 3 as well, of course. They both need to become a thing. Na 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 Don't you know, pump it up, you got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up, you got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Why am I singing that? get over it <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a shit <laughs> Sid Smith my dad won the Le Mans 24 hour in 2017 Ferrari GTE there you have it how about that fair play to him you get over it <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit <laughs> thank you Dennis thank you Sid TVR was British and then Russian and then British yeah well I would always say it's British. You know, when like a certain brand gets bought by people in another country, I still think it's like, for example, um, oh, what was it? Is it Lotus? You get over it. <laughs> I was having a shit. <laughs> is it Lotus that is owned by Tata, the Indian company? To me, lo I can't remember who it is. It has a parent company, but it would still, I'd still call it British, even if it's owned by a, another country or a brand. In a, like, isn't Lamborghini owned by? A lot of brands are owned by a brand from another country, but to me, that doesn't change the nationality of the company. But I don't know. That's just me. Jaguar. Okay, yeah, Jaguar. Like Mini is owned by BMW, but yeah, uh, I don't know. If they move all the workforce over to the other company, uh, other country, then yeah, if then you could say, but Jaguar, yeah, VW, isn't it like VW and Toyota? Is it Toyota? I think those two own like a massive amount of car brands. The Jack. Some British brands. They need to add Janetta, Lotus. Noble would be a good one to see in this game. Janetta and Lotus would make sense. Especially Janetta. For, the, for group 3 and 4. Bring back Rover. 
VW, VW own the world. Am I going to take this race? Yes, it starts in a minute. Oh, is it not Toyota? I'm thinking of someone else then, yeah. Du, 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 du. British companies are terrible. Oi, I heard that. Can you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Does that mean you drive a faster Mini? Yes. Yes, it does. A scar would be cool, yeah. Was it the KZ1? We need that in the game. Alpha Romeo? Yeah, they're in the game, aren't they? Yeah. But they could add more alphas. Dacia Sandero, though, needs to happen. Imagine a Group 3 Dacia Sandero. I want to see that thing. Do you think you end up playing a lot of Forza Motorsport on the channel when it comes out? Yeah, yeah, I will, definitely. Whenever that may be, I don't think we're close to it. What do you think about Albon's crash in FP2? I haven't actually seen it. Let me watch it right now. Sorry to be rude, but um, I'm going to watch it. F1. Alex Albon dies. Oh, let's see what he does. Oh, four, fourth on the grid now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. He just comes wide out of the last corner, spins it, overcorrects it into the barrier. Alex. If you keep behaving that way, oh, Alex, uh, mate, you come will on. Be sent to the shadow realm. Doug G with a twenty dollars again. Plans for more karting bits. Um. Well, I won't be making any more for a while because I'm not doing any more this year. I'm not sure when my season starts next year, but. I still have some videos recorded that I need to make, so we've got those. I've got a couple of videos still to release. Um, but I haven't got any plans to record any new ones right now. But soon enough, my friend, we shall um, we'll get more. Right, let's get warming up. Fourth on the grid. Oh man, I've ruined my chance to win the ra win a race. I had that chance to win, and well. You never know. We can still win from fourth. You never know what will happen. But you're relying on second and third to... Um... To do something. Bonk. But yeah, Alex, um, hmm. Alex album. What have you done there, mate? What have you done? You're not winning anything. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. You never know, mate. You never know. I keep finishing second. I keep finishing second today. That's something I tell all the girls. I'm really good at finishing second. It's on my Tinder profile. Right, anyway. Enough of that. Let's get into it. Let's go. Come on, Big Bonnie. Is he a Valentino fan? God, where's he going?
Right, now we need to gain on these guys. Come on. Let's go. could have defended that. If he hurries up, we can gain together. I don't mind that. I'll give him a lap in the in front and see how he does. God, didn't want to go in there, did it? Okay, second's going defensive. So we're going to catch up. Oh, okay. That was close. That's a penalty. What an idiot. Oh, God. I'm driving like an absolute noob now. in chat oh, so stupid that was a good lap as well 55-4 oh come on mate I've got a penalty serve I need you to hurry up Dennis for the 50, my goodness, man. You do not have to do that. I'll read, I'll read the comment in a second. Oh, man. Stop that. Stop that behaviour at once. This race is pretty spread out, and that's annoying. Not what we want. Thunders is driving really well in the Audi. Gotta hand it to him. He's making it work. Third is making mistakes. We could still get a podium here, possibly.
God's sake, man. Whew. Yeah, I'm not driving well now. Where's, where's he going? Ah! <laughs> what's he done there? Fancied a trip into the wall. <laughs> what, what was that? Didn't fancy braking. Didn't really fancy it. You know what? I'm not going to bother braking for this corner. Oh, four. All right. Not the best performance. He had a visit to Barry R. Good old Barry. Good old Baza. Say hello to Baza while you're over there, mate. You must, his controller must have died or something. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. Fourth. Rip. What's our driver rate going to go up to? Let's have a look. 65818. That is not too shabby. Do -do 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 -do. Not too shabby at all. Let's get out of here. Thank you so much, Dennis. Happy early Christmas. Got to run. Get a win. At least play sick for all time's sake. I couldn't even do either of those for you, mate. After you donated 49.99. I'm so sorry, but thank you, thank you, mate, for that. Very generous of you. Ah, oh, you need to invest in some decent equipment. Are you joking? Is that a joke? The equipment I've got is more than okay. I just need to improve. <laughs> to be fair, though, the results we got today are pretty good. Loads of seconds. We should have won one. Yeah, we threw away a win, but plenty of thirds and two fourths. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Have you played iRacing before? Yes, I have. Um, not a huge amount, but I have played it. It looks a bit old. It's not old. It's like less than a year old. A lot of it, most of it. I'm going to sign out now. I'm exhausted. I'm done. I'm done, everyone. I'm so done. <laughs> it's been good fun, though. We did get our driver rating up by almost 5,000 today, which is a pretty good rise in just three hours. So we can't complain too much. That's that's not too bad. Um, but I am going to call it a night. Let me just see if there's still any... Are there any Fanatec items still going for sale? They might have run out by now. It was on a limited run. Uh, oh, page isn't working. There's a surprise. I know. I still got the CSL Elite wheelbase and the one with the wheel and the Porsche, the Club Sport Porsche. So have a look in the description if you still want to buy one of those. They are still available. At a discounted price. Righty. It is time to end. Much love, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. Um, take care. Have a nice weekend. It's been a pleasure, as always. 
and uh, I shall see you all very soon. Subscribe if you're new, and if you did enjoy, drop a like as well before you go. I'll see you next time, bye. I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Wow! Wow! See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.